again. My name's Diane and I design and make quilts and this is my first quilt of 2023. It's Wednesday Adams inspired quilt from the Netflix series and this one is called Wednesday. So if you'd like to see how I made this please continue watching. This is the uh, Wednesday Adams quilt. There is a video online available to see that design process if you're interested. It's going to be a great scrap buster if you've got uh, lots of jelly rolls left over because I'm making this at two and a half inch squares. So it will be a 46 inch finished quilt unless you put extra borders on of course. So a nice little lap size. And the colours I'm using for Wednesday Adams are quite subdued. The way I'm going to approach this quilt is to make it in blocks. And the first thing I'm going to do is this little nine patch. I'm going to use a black and white border. So I need 17 in total. So I'll show you the fabric I have next. I decided to use two and a half inch squares because uh, during lockdown, COVID lockdown, I bought some jelly rolls online. These were them. As you can see, they turned up and they weren't the best cuts. Nevertheless, the fabric is fine. I can't use all of it, but I will use what I can. So I had some two and a half inch strips in subdued colours and this married beautifully with Wednesday Adams' sombre quilt. I did have some of this uh, bits and pieces of yardage which I've also cut into two and a half inch strips which is a pure white with a cream sort of grunge. I also had a little bit of fabric in a grey tonal similar grungy effect um, <laughs> and like a lot of quilters when you decide you want to use your scraps on a project you go and buy some more fabric to finish. So for these few scraps, I bought all of that fabric. Oh no, nonsense. This will be a good addition to my stash, which isn't huge. And when I say my stash isn't huge, I'm not exaggerating. I mean, these are all of my fat quarters. Hardly anything really. Just bits and pieces that I've left over from other fat quarter bundles in the main. And then... This is my yardage. Again, not very much. Most of it less than a metre or less than a yard. All sorts of bits that are left over from other projects or from fabric I've bought for intended projects, but not very much at all. So I'm not really into the no buy January because I don't have excess material, as you can see. So the new fabric that will be left over from this Wednesday quilt will be a welcome addition to this first job make some white and black nine patch squares 17 in all there we are there is my 17 nine patch blocks it's so lovely to start the new year doing a project like this where it's quite simple just listening to the radio and piecing sorting out all my thoughts for 2023 so i have completed 17 of those also completed 12 of these for the border of the size of the quilt i'm making which you will need 17 of these blocks remember five of those go for the center 12 of these and like a little spacer you also need um, four of those so that's the border complete and some of the center blocks say it's not going to be a huge quilt but it is lovely just sitting here listening to the radio and letting the world fall into place and now for my next step I'm going to concentrate on the area that I've shaded blue on this design if you're making an odd scrappy quilt they would be your cooler ones the brown will be warmer and this for me is going to be grey in grey fabric so the blues are the grey I need 52 of the cool tones 52 two and a half inch squares so for the blue I need four nine patch with the greys in the corner and then I need 16 four patch alternating grey and black so quite another simple step turn the radio on and get cracking I've now sewn all of these grey squares 
the blue grey cool tone squares together and they're looking like that i've trimmed them oh there's hardly anything to come off just a tiny little slither off the edge but i've trimmed those and so my next job is to create 24 blocks that are in the warm tones and they are two squares by three so that shouldn't take very long at all and there they are complete there are 24 all in all of these blocks and i decided to do two sets so leading with this marble because i think that will give a nice rhythm to the quilt when i construct it and there are two darker uh, of the warm tones two lighter or taupe i think you say in america <laughs> and there we have the gray so those are the grey sets and the black and white. So those are all the pieces sewn. And so now I'm going to figure out the best way to construct it. I've decided that um, the way I'm going to construct this is in blocks. And that is broken down like that. That first block will look like that. So you can see there is a darker warm tone in the middle on each side, a lighter one on each side there. That's the first block sewn. And so the next part is to put these three sides together, form a little panel, and they'll fit on that side. So that is that part here. And it just fits on the edge. So it's that central piece there. Well, it's been a funny old day, lots of stops and starts, but I'm back in the sewing room now and I'm just about to attach the row that goes below that corner. So we have the central part of the quilt and then I'm going to finish off the bottom row of that top left hand corner. And then below that will be another corner, the same as the top and another piece of panel that goes along here and that will be just over half of the quilt finished. So I'll get on and do that and I'll show you when I've finished. So when you're looking at the quilt, uh, the design, it's this part here. So that's the sort of nine patch, that's the little panel. So when I've sewn those together, that's all of that quilt side. All of that will be finished and then I just have these two blocks here to do. It's so got a block there, a centre piece and a block there. hope that makes a little bit more sense. Now I've added the black and white border and I've decided I'm going to put a two and a half inch black edge to it just to finish it off. The pale is showing up very pale at the moment. It is deeper close up but I thought <laughs> I could do better. So as you can see I've unpicked all of the border added a two and a half inch strip so it's the same width as the squares and i've edged it with a two and a half inch strip so i think that looks much better so i'm much happier with that the border around the center panel of the warm and cooler tones helped to make that pop that's what i wanted i wanted that to be separate from the border and without that little band it merged together so wednesday adams is wednesday's child and she's full of woe and um, i felt a little bit woeful when i was unpicking all this black material with black thread but i think it was well worth it so on to quilting now it's a rose and hubble fabric it's a solid black with white musical notes and in the Netflix series Wednesday Adams, Wednesday plays the cello. And so I think this is a um, fitting, fitting tribute to the show. So I'm going to quilt this in a simple cross hatch and I'll show you when it's finished. And that's it finished. It's a nice size. It's 53 inches square or 134 centimetres. It's, I'm calling it Wednesday. Of course, now I'm going to make another six quilts for every day of the week from the little rhyme that uh, Wednesday Adams was named from. So this is the Wednesday is full of woe. And I'm thinking perhaps next I will do the loving and giving one as Valentine's is coming up. And I think I might be making a heart. So if you've enjoyed this and you'd like to see some more, please subscribe. Um, thanks for watching. And take care of yourself.
Bye.